The impact of artificial intelligence on professional education. Well, data suggests that it could represent an immense opportunity for executive education institutions and corporate training. Now, AI is a hot topic. Many experts are comparing it to the invention of electricity in the 1800s. How is this new discipline already disrupting everything, including our approach to education? Its impact is bound to reverberate in interesting and unexpected ways. As artificial intelligence will be putting millions out of the job market, it becomes crucial to train these millions of newly unemployed workers to the needs of tomorrow's job market, and not yesterday's. This fact creates a huge opportunity for post-secondary education and major corporations to retrain and re-educate large swaths of people. At the heart of any reflection on economic future of every community, the question of education is rooted. Without relevant, up-to-date education, it becomes almost impossible to ensure the economic viability of any community. And if you can't ensure the economic prosperity for the masses, how can you tackle problems like climate change, for instance? It becomes impossible. That is why inadequate education is crucial for the future of our planet. Now, back to the students, you wouldn't train any students to run faster than cars. So why are you training them to think faster than machines? Because of this fast disruption created by AI, we no longer know if what teacher tells us is timeless wisdom or an obsolete worldview. Facing this disruption, many questions remain unanswered. What are the skills of tomorrow? What industries or discipline will be flourishing in five to ten years? More importantly, what are the opportunities for large corporations and educational institutions? One thing is certain, governments will have to allocate large budgets to find the answer to this new yet crucial needs. Major corporations will have to create their own college-type institution in-house to retrain their recently laid-off workers. Educational institutions will have to prove themselves more flexible than ever to absorb an unprecedented number of individuals interested in micro-credentials and not a four-year bachelor degree. If universities have not already taken steps to evolve, they will simply not survive the change. And I know all of this is very expensive. Well, if you think change in education is expensive, try stagnation. Now, online learning could be a solution, of course, but too often students are learning alone on their computer watching a pre-recorded video from a professor they've never met before. The value of any university online program should be measured by what learners end up doing offline together in real life, as opposed to how much time they spend learning online. This is a clear distinction we need to make. Spending more time in front of your computer learning is not the way to go. Instead, you should get what you need from the online education programs you, you're going through and do things in real life.